Introducing the new 2025 Whopper range. Now the Whopper has been a bestseller since day one. When Starboard introduced this board, it was one of the first shapes to go kind of wide at 34 inches. Um, and you have that length at 10 foot to get you into waves. This board, why is it like so much? Well, the width makes it super stable and comfortable when getting on the board and getting into subsurfing. When you stand on these boards from 33 up to 36 inches wide, you have plenty of width and stability. That means that when you're paddling out and when you're getting out into the waves, you have that comfort and control. So the Whopper range really is a fantastic option for those that want to get into subsurfing. Again, having that width and stability means it's easier to paddle out through waves. You're not kind of losing too much energy trying to balance. But the Whopper is not just for beginners. Um, the 10 Whopper by 34 is one of my favorite boards. I love it because, again, you have that comfort, but when you do step back on the board, it has plenty of performance. So when you're stepping back, you can really do these long drawn out turns and you actually, by having that extra length and width, you use the swing weight really to help you drive through your turns. So you're using the swing weight to kind of pendulum effect to come around. So definitely a performance and appeals to the entry level. So what have we changed for the 2025 model? Well, in terms of the outline, we've kept the nose fairly wide and full. That gives you a lot of stability. So keeping the width in front means that you can stand on the nose to get into the waves and you have that stability when you're standing on the nose ride for, for nose rides. We've kept the width through the middle. And then the, the big change in the outline, which may be subtle to see, is actually we've combined some of the elements of the much loved spice range which has uh, been introduced now for a couple of years. And so we have a little bit of a uh, kind of a wing tail. And what that does, it means kind of where the fins are positioned just here, you have plenty of width. So you have that stability again. When you're stepping back to turn this board, you can stand over the fins and have a lot of control. But for those, as, as you progress and want to unlock another level of performance, when you step, step back all the way to the tail, as that tail narrows, you get more drive and more release. So it's gonna feel more reactive the further you step back. So you're kind of getting the best of both. Width over the fins for stability, but then when you move back, you unlock that added performance. The decks are flat throughout. So you have, again, a lot of comfort um, and it feels very easy underfoot. As I spin the board here, the rails of the board are fairly full in the middle, which gives you again that float. And when you're going down the line, you have that kind of speed, but it's thin through the nose and through the tail. So again, by having a thinner nose rail, you're reducing that swing weight through turns. And as you get towards the tail and you really want to kind of drive those turns, you have a thinner rail, which means you need less pressure underfoot to turn the boards. When we flip the board over, the other change, which may be hard to see, is that we've featured a slight beveled rail. So again, taking some of the elements of the spice and what we really like there, we've given a, a soft beveled rail. And what that means is that you can lean on the rail and it really nice likes to roll from side to side. So you have a very smooth rail transition, which means again, when you're standing in the middle of the board, you can still really easy kind of maneuver the board up and down the wave and then turn it from side to side. So the, the beveled rail has that smoothness, but it also means the rail fins at the apex. So again, you're able to really kind of control these boards and put that foot pressure to maneuver. The boards now are offered in um, a quad and a thruster option. They're supplied as a thruster set. So here we have the 170 and four uh, seven fins but you have that quad option um, as well. And when we tested these boards, uh, Trev and I, we went to Phuket and uh, we actually surfed an overhead surf and we were amazed by the performance of, of these big boards. So the range of conditions is from small waves. Again, if you're learning and you're getting into the sport, you want something stable for subsurfing. It's ideal for small waves. 
But as you get bigger, kind of head high, these boards still perform. So it's, it's kind of suited to a range of conditions. So again, to summarize some of the features of the new Whopper, you have three sizes. So 9033, which we, we took elements of the Hero uh, and the 94 Whopper. And we have the 10 by 34, which as I said, is one of my favorite boards and has been a bestseller from day one. And then we have the 11036, which replaces the old Avanti. Um, and now the whole range is called Whopper. So 90, 10, 11, 33, 34, 36. So again, these boards are wide to be stable and comfortable, yet they're not limited in performance because of that width. These boards are offered in a range of technology options uh, to suit kind of different um, value price points and performance levels. So from the entry level, from the light tech, um, then we have the limited series. We have the Starlight, which is this option here with the forward deck and the extra durable rail. And then we have the blue carbon model, which is the lightest option for those that really want that performance driven, easier to carry, uh, take off on and off the car. Um, it's, that lighter board is just gonna elevate that performance again. Other features that we've included on these boards, we have a new um, grip deck pad. So we have corduroy grooving through the middle. So, and then corduroy at the, the kind of wings here with the diamond groove in the main standing and the tail. So the difference in deck pad allows you to feel where you are on the board and that helps you instead of looking where your feet are for learning, you can really tune where you want to stand and, and know where you are on the board. So to wrap up the 2025 Whopper range, three boards in the range, 9.0, 10.0 and 11.0. Again, these boards now blend the much loved kind of characteristics of the traditional Whopper with the wide nose, wide outline, but we've added those features of the spice with the wing tail, the beveled rail, really to kind of have that performance and ease when kind of going into sup surfing for the first timers, but still having that performance for those that really want to rip in the waves. So ideal for heavier riders and those that want to get into sup surfing.